Welcome to my video. Today I want to show you my own version of a vegetarian and a vegan tartare. Um, I actually experimented with different layers of taste and I'm really happy with the final result. I think it's super delicious and you really need to try it yourself. we are gonna start to prepare the first layer of the tartare and to make this tartare you actually should uh, yeah get one of these tartare rings they're super useful because you can also use them to layer desserts or you know to make like small appetizers i think it's a really cool kitchen tool and i already have my two aubergines here that i cut in half there you go and what you have to do is um you crisscross the avoc uh, avocado, aubergine, I mean, of course, the aubergine, um, so that the flavors that we're gonna add to it, they can be absorbed even better. I'm gonna just peel garlic. We'll cut the garlic in half. And now I'm gonna rub the aubergine with the garlic. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna take some olive oil, splash it over the aubergines. My God, I don't know why I keep wanting to say avocados. Of course, it's not avocados. Slice up the remaining garlic. You can add it on. So depending on if you like the flavor of garlic a lot, you can use even two. Other than that, I'm gonna add some fresh rosemary and some fresh thyme. Is that how you say it in English? Thyme in Germany, thymian. And add some salt and pepper. That's it, super easy. And now we're gonna take aluminium foil <laughs> and I will fold this thing like a sandwich. That's it. And wrap it in the foil. Sandwich number one. That's it. And now they're ready for the oven. We actually need to put them around 40 to 45 minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna prepare all the remaining things, the remaining layers. I already preheated the oven, so it's hot. And that's it. Yeah, around yeah, it can be actually very hot, like 210 degrees maybe. All right, so I'm ready to prepare the second layer for our tartare and we're gonna need these two rice puffers. So you have to squash them with your hand ah, as good as you can to make them small. Yeah, this is fine. Now we're gonna add the tomato paste to open this. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna add about like half the tube. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut the onion. gonna add some garlic and you know maybe this will be already enough and I'm gonna also oh, add the, oh my god my eyes oh, adding a spoon of mustard oh my god it's funny okay I had to pause the video because the onion made me cry again um so now I'm just gonna finish up the paste here. Um, I'm gonna take another cloth of garlic, peel it and put it in the squeezer. And I'm just gonna add a little bit, not too much. Not gonna add the whole cloth, 
just a little bit of garlic also that's enough and i'm gonna take some fresh parsley here also slice it up small Okay, and now the remaining spices. So I'm adding paprika powder and being pretty generous with it. This one, it's not spicy. And I'm adding some coriander also. Coriander powder, okay. And that's it. And of course, salt and pepper. Now I have to. This is done and can go on the side. And next, I'm gonna cook the quinoa. Cook it for 20 minutes in hot, salty water. let's continue with the preparations I have an avocado here and okay I'm gonna let's pray that the avocado is good you know sometimes you get it and it's like brown and oh, oh yay so I'm gonna squash it Happy it's working now. And I'm gonna add a lemon. Not a whole lemon, of course. I don't want it to be super sour, but just a few splashes of lemon, it's enough. And now I'm adding some pepper and some salt. Okay. Now gonna prepare some carrots you know because I figured out that the tartare really should have like a crunchy touch to it there should be something you know that is not soft in the tartare so some shredded carrots actually work very well these are very small carrots I'm gonna prepare two Perfect. Next layer is done. Okay, so now I'm going back to my aubergine paste for that. I will use five dates. Um, you know, I love the sweet touch to the dish, but you can use less dates, of course, if you don't want it to be too sweet, but it tastes really good. Let's unwrap these hot aubergines. Ooh. Ooh, very hot. So now I'll just take off the big parts, like the rosemary and the big pieces of garlic. Yeah, because you know, in the, it will be too too much to have this in the taste. Now I'm gonna spoon it out. <laughs> it's super hot. Perfect. Okay, so we have the inside of our aubergine and we'll do is to slice it. I will add the, the dates, mix everything. And now what we're gonna do is uh, half of the paste, I'm gonna prepare like vegetarian. So 
so we're gonna add feta cheese and parmesan I, mean, I love cheese but if we want to take the vegan option we will just replace the cheese by layer of nuts later on so we're just not using cheese so 50 50 now we're gonna heat it up and then i'm gonna add the cheese this is gonna be my vegan paste and that one vegetarian So for my um, vegeta uh, vegetarian one, I will add some parmesan and some pepper. Yeah. Anyways, it's gonna melt here in the pan. So now the parmesan crispies are ready. They just need to dry. So our vegan aubergine paste is strong. Mm, special lemon. If you want optional, you can add like a small splash of lemon. So for the vegan uh, tartare, I'm gonna use a layer of roasted nuts. Just gonna add a few walnuts without oil, just to have them hot and roasted and in the meantime yeah then I will remove my parmesan crispies for the decorations <laughs> okay so I have everything prepared now it's finally time to assemble our tartar <laughs> I have this uh, tartar ring and I am gonna start with a layer of quinoa I think it's good to put the layers not too thin and not too thick. I mean, we're gonna have a few layers. <laughs> Next one is our vegan uh, minced meat. <laughs> now, going with the aubergine paste. And next we have our carrots. And you see it's almost full. And our last layer is our avocado. Now it's time to remove it. So we'll just take it up. And it looks delicious. So we're gonna prepare the second one, the, the vegan tartare. So I'm actually gonna start with the first layer this time. Let's start with uh, the tomato paste. So next one we have our um, aubergine paste, the one only mixed with dates but not with cheese. This is the one with cheese. I love that the Sweetness from the dates gives it a really special flavor. Perfect, now we have a layer of quinoa. Now we have a layer of roasted nuts. Squeeze them a little bit. Perfect. Now for the last layer of our avocado and now it's time to remove our cover so here we have our vegetarian and vegan tartare now I'm gonna garnish them for our vegetarian one I will add one of our parmesan crisp that's it and for our vegan one, we we'll take some amazing micro plants. Okay. 
finally we're done this is our vegetarian and our vegan tartare it's super delicious it looks beautiful and yeah honestly it's only packed with healthy amazing ingredients so just try it yourself and let me know what you think about it Thank you.